Shalom, family and Messiah Yeshua. Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother, Shaul Yisrael, coming back again with another Yahweh-inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 23, and starting at verse 20. The book of Exodus, chapter 23, and verse 20. Again, the book of Exodus, chapter 23, and verse 20, and I read, Behold, I sin and Malak before you, to guard you in the way, and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him, in the bear's voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. But if you shall indeed obey his voice, and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto your enemies, and an adversary unto your adversaries. For my Malak shall go before you, and bring you in, in unto the Amorites, and the Hittites, and the Parasites, and the Canaanites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. You shall not bow down to their Elohim, nor serve them, nor do after their works, but you shall utterly overthrow them, and quite break down their images. And you shall serve Yahweh your El, and he shall bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in your land. The number of your days I will fulfill. I will send my fear before you, and will destroy all the people to whom you shall come. And I will make all your enemies turn their back unto you. And I will send hornets before you, which shall drive out the Hivites, the Canaanites, and the Hittites from before you. I will not draw. I'll stop there. I read that to say this. As part of tribulation preparation, we must understand that Abba Yahweh fights for us. The maker, sustainer, and the establisher of creation the all-knowing, the all-powerful, the ever-existent, the self-existent one, he fights for us. For the cause, let us trust in Yahweh. As our ancestors aforetime uh, trusted in Abba Yahweh and were not confounded, as part of our tribulation, preparation. We must hold firm to understand that Yahweh fights for us. For that cause, we need not fear our adversaries and our enemies. For Yahweh fights for us. He defends us. For the cause, we need not respect our enemies, our adversaries. For our enemies and our adversary deserve no respect. For they not only oppose us, the children of the Most High Yahweh, but they oppose Yahweh. For the cause, no adversary, no enemy of Yahweh and of us, his set apart people, deserve no respect. So let us trust in Yahweh and call upon him to curse and plague and persecute our enemies and bring them to heal and to lay upon them great and dreadful and all-consuming terrors and destruction. For Yahweh fights for us. And with this understanding, we shall survive the coming tribulation period. We need not fear the coming tribulation. For Yahweh fights for us. 
Yahweh said in his word that he that dwells in his secret place shall abide under his protection. And there's no one in Shami'im and the Rex that can overcome Yahweh. Therefore, let us wax strong in faith and trust and hope in Yahweh, knowing that Yahweh fights for us. Reading Exodus 23 and verse 20. Behold, I sin and angel before you. And this angel is not the pre-existent Jesus the Messiah. Because Jesus the Messiah didn't exist in the days of the prophets. So the angel or the Malach that Yahweh sent to go before the children of Israel is simply a, a, a son of Shama'im. A, a heavenly messenger. That Yahweh sent before them to lead them. It also can also refer to Yahweh's messenger. But Yahweh's messenger bears the authority of Yahweh. So Knowing that Yahweh is with us, we need not fear our enemies, our adversaries. He is written, Behold, I sent an angel before you to guard you in the way and to bring you into a place which I have prepared. Yahweh always will direct us and guide us that we may overcome the various dangers and pitfalls that we may face and will face. So let us trust Yahweh for Yahweh fight for us. Let us not respect our enemies and adversaries who are dung and ashes. So for our most top preparation for the coming tribulation is our trust in Yahweh. For Yahweh fights for his people. He fights for his chosen. So we need not fear, nor be afraid. But we ought to work strong and be courageous. As written in Joshua chapter 1, the book of Joshua, the book of Joshua chapter 1, or rather the book of Joshua chapter 91 and verse 16, the book of Joshua chapter 9, verse 16, I read, Blessed be Yahweh forever, so be it, and so be it. Strengthen yourselves, and let the hearts of all you that trust in Yahweh build good courage. Let me read that again. Strengthen your Jasher chapter 91, and verse 17, Strengthen yourselves, and let the hearts of all you that trust in Yahweh be of good courage. What we are going to need in abundance is that courage to walk with Yahweh in the midst of all manner of tribulation, trial, difficulty, and hardship. For what's about to come upon this planet is an, a time like none other since the beginning of the creation and won't be so ever again. So we are going to need courage, understanding that Yahweh fights for us. He will preserve and protect, protect us. And even if our lives are taken, 
for the sake of serving our Yahweh, we have a great hope in the resurrection where we will inherit a kingdom prepared for those who love Yahweh. So let us strengthen ourselves and we strengthen ourselves by being rooted and grounded in the word of Yahweh by remaining steadfast in our obedience to Yahweh's word. Let's take heed to what the word of Yahweh instructs us to do, to strengthen ourselves and let our hearts who trust in Yahweh be of good courage. Now, turning to Joshua, the book of Joshua, chapter 1 and starting at verse 6 the book of Joshua chapter 1 and verse 6 be strong and of a good courage for unto this people shall you divide for inherit the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them only be you strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wheresoever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night, that you may observe the door according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. Have not commanded you, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, not of even be you dismayed, for Yahweh your El is with you wheresoever you go. So we ought to take courage, understand that Yahweh is with us. He's one with us, and we are one with him. Thus we ought to wax strong in trusting Yahweh, understand that Yahweh fights for us. And this is the most vital element in our tribulation preparation, understanding and discerning and applying understanding and discernment to the reality Yahweh fights for us. He's our defender. He's our avenger. He's our provider. He's our protector. He's our source. So let us wax strong in trust absolutely in Yahweh. And let us not fear mortal men. As it's been in the book of First Maccabees. The book of First Maccabees. Chapter 1. The book of 1st Maccabees chapter 1 and book of 1st Maccabees chapter 1 And verse uh, First Maccabees chapter two, rather. In verse 61, the book of Maccabees, chapter 2, and go up a little bit further. Second Maccabees, first Maccabees, chapter 2. First Maccabees, chapter 2, and starting at verse 50. First Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 50. 
Now, therefore, my sons, be you zealous for the law, and give your lives for the covenant of your father. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor at, and an everlasting name. Was not Abraham found faithful in temptations, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness? Joseph, in the time of his distress, guarded the commandment and was made master or ruler of Egypt. Phineas, our father, and being zealous and fervent, obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Joshua, fulfilling the word, was made a judge in Israel. Caleb, for bearing witness before the congregation, received the heritage of the land. Dawit, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Elias, for being zealous and fervent for the law, was taken up into Shanim. Ananias, Azariah, and Mishael, by believing, were saved out of the flame. Daniel, for his innocency, was delivered from the mount of lions. And thus consider you throughout all ages, that none that put the trust in y'all shall be overcome. And read that again. And thus consider you throughout all ages, that none that put the trust in y'all shall be overcome. Fear not then the words of a sinful man, for his glory shall be done in worms. So let us not fear men who are just dung in worms, dust in ashes. But let us fear, let us reverence and respect Yahweh, to hold fast to his word. For our most vital element of our tribulation preparation is that Yahweh fights for us. And that in knowing that Yahweh fights for us, let us trust him with all of our heart, with all of our being. And all of our ability understand that Yahweh cannot fail. Yahweh cannot be overcome. He is our strong and unmovable and irresistible foundation. So let us stand firm in Yahweh. Let us stand firm in His Word. Knowing that Yahweh cannot fail. He fights for us. And thus consider you throughout all ages that none that put the trust in y'all shall be overcome. Fear not then the words of a sinful man, for his glory shall be done in worms. Today he shall be lifted up, and tomorrow he shall not be found, because he is returned into his dust, and his thought is come to nothing. Wherefore you, my son, be valiant, and show yourself men in, behalf, in the behalf of the law. For by it shall you obtain glory. So fam, let us have fervent trust and hope and love for Yahweh's word. To hold fast to the word Yahweh. For our vital element of, tri of tribulation preparation is that trust in Yahweh. Understand that Yahweh fights for us. He will defend us. He will provide for us. He will preserve us and he will, will fulfill his word in respect of us. So let us not fear. Sinful men. For their glory are dung and worms. Be as the prophet Elijah, who stood firmly against the wicked messengers of the adversary, as written in as written in the book of Kings. Thank you, y'all. The Book of Kings, or rather, 
Third Kings chapter 18. And verse 19. Third Kings chapter 18 and verse 19. Now therefore, Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel and the prophets of Baal 450 and the prophets of the groves 400 would eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt you between two opinions? How long halt you between two opinions? If Yahweh be El, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him, follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, may a prophet of Yahweh. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let them therefore give us two bullets, and let them choose one bullet for themselves, and cut it in pieces, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under, and I will dress the other bullet, and lay it on wood, and put to no fire under, and call you on the name of your Elohim, and I will call on the name of Yahweh, and the El. That answers by fire, let him be held. And all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. And Elijah said unto the prophet of Baal, Choose you one bullet for yourselves, and dress it first, for you are many, and call the name of your El, Elohim, but put no fire under. And they took the bullet which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal from morning even. even unto noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered, and they, he leaped upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon, that Elijah mocked them. And it came to pass at noon, that Elijah mocked them. See, a false messenger, a false messenger, they deserve no respect. They deserve to be mocked, to be ridiculed, to be shamed, to be cursed, to be plagued, to Yahweh destroys them. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is uh, Elohim. Either he is talking, or he is pursuing, or he is in a journey, or peradventure he sleeps and must be awake. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and lances, till the blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass, when midday was past, and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was neither voice, nor any to answer, nor any that regarded. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar of Yahweh that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of Yahweh came, saying, Israel shall be your name. And with the stones he made an altar in the name of Yahweh. And he made a trench about the altar, as great as wood contained two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order, and cut the bullock in pieces, and laid him on the wood, and said, Fill four barrels with water, and put it on the burnt sacrifice, and on the wood. And he said, Do it the second time, and they did it the second time. And he said, Do it the third time, and they did it the third time. 
And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Yahweh of Abraham, Yusak, and of Israel, let it be known this day that you are El in El in Israel, and that I that I am your servant, that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me, O Yahweh, hear me, that this people may know that you are Yahweh El, that you have turned their heart back again. Then the fire of Yahweh fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, Yahweh, he is the El. Yahweh, he is the El. And Elijah said to them, Take the prophets of Baal, let not one of them escape. And they took them, and Elijah brought them down to the book Kishon, and sued them there. And Elijah said to Ahab, Get you up, and eat, eat, and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and, and to drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. And he cast himself down upon the earth, and put his face between his knees, and said to his servant, Go up now, and look toward the sea. And he went up, and looked. And said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there arise a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare your chariot, and get you down, that the rain stop you not. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the shaman was black with clouds. And wind, and there was a great rain, and he had brewed, and went to Jezreel. And the hand of Yahweh was on Elijah, and he girded up his loins, and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. So be as the prophet Elijah, who stood courageously against the enemies and adversaries of Yahweh, and overcame them, because his trust was firmly. Fixed in Yahweh. So let our trust, let our hope, let our love be firmly fixed in Yahweh. Knowing that Yahweh fights for us. And it is his strength. It is his ability. It is his understanding, discernment, and wisdom that will cause us to overcome the coming tribulation period. So our vital element of tribulation preparation is our trust in Yahweh. So let us not fear men, but let's fear Yahweh and stand firm upon his word. As written in the book of Jasher, chapter 91, turn back to the book of Jasher, chapter 91, The book of Jasher 91 and verse 16. Blessed be Yahweh forever. So be it and so be it. Strengthen yourselves. Strengthen yourselves and let the hearts of all you that trust in Yahweh be of good courage. So if you trust in Yahweh, be of good courage. Understand that Yahweh, he fights for us. He fights for his people. That our adversaries and our enemies, they do not stand a chance against us. Because Yahweh, he fights for us. Hold fast to the word of Yahweh. In this moment, in this hour. And hold fast unto the word of Yahweh. Knowing that Yahweh fights for us. O oh, Yahweh, in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach. I thank you for stirring your servant to speak and proclaim your set apart word and testimony. I beseech you, O Yahweh, to draw your chosen to both hear and receive your word, O Yahweh. Continue to 
prosper and give good success unto us, your elect ones, that we may survive, thrive, and endure in these last evil days. Continue to fight on our behalf of Yahweh against our enemies, our adversaries. Continue to fight against the enemies and adversaries of your servant that exists here in Rockford, North Carolina, and Perth County. Particularly continue to fight against all my enemies and adversaries that exist in both Rockford Police Department and Rockford Sheriff Department of Yahweh. You continually to send after them. Continue to hunt them and consume them in your great and dreadful and incurable plagues and curses and fury till they cease from the earth. Expose the hidden works of darkness that they may be forever shamed before your Seraphat Shamim and before men, I give your name honor, glory, and praise, O Yahweh. So be it, so be it. Remember, family, as you age and enable of our Yahweh, please show your support by seeing a donation of any amount to either Makash App, PayPal, Venmo. Ozell, be a blessing, be a, a faithful support to your beloved brother and your faithful minister, Messiah Yeshua. Guard your brother in prayer. As said for, be a faithful support and a blessing to your beloved brother and faithful minister, Messiah Yeshua. By seeing a donation of any amount as often as you can and when you can. My information will be in the description of this. Yahweh inspired message. Love you all, family. Shalom, shalom, and shalom.